How's it going everybody? Mark Scanlon here. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, following the guidelines and keeping healthy. Um, I'm just going to take you through a short training session for about 25 minutes. Um, following on from all the great work that the lads are doing. Um, Eamon, Ken, Damien, Dervla and everybody else that has joined in. We've seen it on the Facebook group. It's great. Um, see so much interaction here so all you're going to need for this is a little bit of space you don't need any equipment and um, just to have have a little bit of energy about you if you're not sure of anything if anything's giving you pain just stop or i'll show you how to change it okay but we're going to alternate between bringing your heart rate up a little bit and bringing it back down and we'll try and make it as fun as possible as well okay so hopefully you can you can join in on this so First thing that we're going to do is we're going to warm up the brains first. Okay, so we're going to do a little reaction drill here. Um, and I call it out, so obviously this isn't live, so I recorded this. So follow, after I give the instruction, follow along um, and join in the fun with that. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, just have a little bit of space about you. You can just have your hands in your hips or have them loose for the first one. You don't need them anyway, we're just going to focus on the legs, okay? So we want to just start jogging on the spot, okay? I'm either going to say right or left, and that's going to be your right foot out in front or your left foot out in front, okay? So we're bringing the heart rate up, but we're also training the brain as well, okay? So on my call, if I say right, it's going to be a quick tap and then back into jogging on the spot again. If I say left, quick tap, back in again, okay? Alternatively to that, if that's sore on the knees or anything like that, just stand still and then touch out in front, touch out in front. Okay, so here we go. Let's get a nice little jog going first. Right, left, left, oh, I got wrong. Left, right, right, left, right. Okay, and just stand still for a second. So you get the idea of that. We all make mistakes, just like me there. Okay, so we're gonna start back in again, the exact same drill. We're gonna try and do it a little bit quicker, okay? So just moving on the spot. Right, left, 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 still with me, right, follow along, right, right. Okay, we we'll stand still, shake it out. Okay, this time we're gonna focus on the upper body, okay? If I say right, Right hand in the air, if I say left, left hand in the air. So we'll jog on the spot again. So I'm only concentrating on the upper body. Right, right, left, left. Okay, so try and react straight away as soon as they call it. Left, left, right, right. Okay, and bring it down again. Okay, while we're there, if you can. You can lean against the wall if you need to do this, but we get a quad stretch. Okay, it's taking the foot and the hand, knees together. This is one that Ken always does. Push the hips forward. Hold for another three, two, one. Okay, same on the other side, knees together. Drive your hips forward, try and keep your balance, fold against the wall. Or if you're doing this with a partner. If there's anybody else around the house there getting to join in on this, Everybody can do something here. Okay, and then just before we go into the next one, we just give the shoulders big roll backwards. Okay, and then we do three forward, two, three. Same again, upper body focus only, jogging on the spot. Left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Bring it down again. Okay, last little bit of this. So we're gonna work all four limbs here. So right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm. Okay, the way we'll do it is, I'll say right leg, or left leg, right arm, left arm. We're gonna jog on the spot here. Right arm, left leg, right leg, left arm, left arm. Left leg, stick with it, stick with it. Here we go again, right arm. Touch my leg as well. Right leg, left leg, left leg, 
right arm, left arm, right leg. Okay. Okay, we'll go into a proper stretching sequence now. So hopefully your heart rate is up. Hopefully that was a bit of crack as well and you got people to join in. Okay, so we go down onto our knees. Okay. Onto all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Okay, we're going to work on spinal movement here. Okay, so we want to get your spine moving uh, through a healthy range. So what we're going to do is from the base of your back here, try and round up towards the ceiling and tuck your head at the same time into your chest. And then opposite to that, drop your stomach to the floor and lift the head. We'll do that two more times, so really round up like a cat, up as high as you can, and then stomach to the floor, lift the head, this is a nice stretch to do any day, especially if you're sitting down more than usual, get some movement through your spine, and down to the floor again. Okay, from that same position, we're going to do a movement called Superman, okay? And that's where your arm goes out in front like Superman. Sorry, I'm going to turn here and your leg goes behind. Okay, so I'm going to push my left arm forward and my right foot goes backwards like this. And I bring it back under and change. So right arm forward, left arm back, hand in the air like Superman. Try and push your heel backwards, get as long as you can. We'll do another two each side, so this is Superman, or Superwoman, obviously. Last time each side. Okay. From there then, we're coming up into our feet. Okay, again, if there's anybody around, get them to join in, everybody's going to feel better after doing this. Okay, so we're going to do an upper body rotation or a stretch here. So I want you to start with two hands out in front of your chest. Keep your left hand in place, open up with your right, and follow your hand around with your eyes. Again. So twist as far as you can. Back in, we'll do one more time on that side. So twist around, bring your head around, and back. Okay, we'll do three the other way. So open up like a book, and twist. Back in, open up again. Okay, so we're getting some rotation through your upper back, and again, and back in. Okay, next little thing we're going to do is call a squat. Okay, so your feet are going to come out shoulder width apart, toes pointing slightly outwards, and you're going to bend your knees and sit down into a chair. You can use your hands out in front, we'll give you a little counterbalance. Just go to where you feel comfortable, you don't need to go really low. Okay, we're going to do five. So like this, go down for one, two, three, keep your chest up, and then stand up, drop the hands. Hands out in front, one, two, three. Stand back up, that's two. I'll just show you from the sides. You don't need to get out really low. Just sit back into the chair, back and down at the same time. Three, stand up, two more. One, two, three, stand up. And last time, one, two, Three. Excellent. Last little thing for our upper body again. So we're going to rotate our shoulders. I'll show you a little better from behind. So one hand at the base of your neck, one hand at the base of your spine or your lower back. And then really slowly just turn and twist them out. So we're going from internal rotation to external rotation. A nice one to do if your shoulders are tight. You need to get some movement through them. We'll do two more. One. Two. Okay, so now we're going to uh, a little bit of proper work. It's called a superset or two exercises together, okay? And we're going to do both of them on the floor. Okay, so we're going to do it for each exercise. We're going to do it twice then we're going to do it four times, then we're going to do it six times, and then we're going to do it eight times, going up like a ladder, and then we're going to come back down, we're going to do eight, six, four, two. 
and then we'll finish. Sounds easy, but it's actually tough. Okay, so the first exercise that we're going to do is called a dead bug, okay, or a dying bug. So you can see it better here. Okay, so relax your head back, hands in the air, they don't move, and one foot at a time, you're going to reach forward and then back, okay? And then your other foot, reach forward and back. That's the dead bug. So that's exercise number one. And the second exercise then is called the shoulder angels. So you're going to be on your stomach for this one. Your hands are going to be behind your head. And you're going to keep your arms off the ground. This will be a challenging one. Up over your lower back. Get a couple of cracks with me. And back in. Try not to let your elbows drop down to the floor. Up here. So try not to let your neck come up here while you're doing it, okay? Rest your head on the floor. Let your arms and hands do the work. Okay, so we have head bugs. Then we have shoulder angels. We're gonna go for do two reps, I'll do it two times first, then four times, then six, then eight, and then come back down, okay? So what we're gonna do here is work a little bit on our core, and then we're gonna work our shoulders, okay? Hopefully that's clear, we'll get stuck in. Okay, so dead bugs first for two. Here we go. We'll do one off each leg. So one, two, back in. Now over into the stomach. Shoulder angels for two. Remember, head on the ground, hands behind your head. Slowly rotate them behind your back. One, two, back up. Okay, we're going to stay moving out. Going up to do it for four reps. Head bugs again. So two off each side. So one, do this slowly, back in. Two, Three, four. Over the shoulder angels. For four, head down. Here we go. Keep with my rhythm, don't do it really fast. One, two, three, four. Now it starts to get a bit tougher. We're up to six. Okay, so dead bugs. Here we go. One, keep it my rhythm. Two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Hopefully, everybody's still with us. And if you need to take a little break, just drop out or drop back in. But I'll give you plenty of break in between this anyway. So try and stick with it. Shoulder angels for six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the hardest one of the all, we're going for eight. Keep going up the ladder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shoulder, shoulder angels eight times, and then we take a break. Stick with it now. We're going to get strong and healthy and fit. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, halfway there. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, hopefully you have some water with you there. Now is the time to take a water break. Okay, so I'll give you a minute there from now and we get stuck in then. So again, if you're feeling pain on any of these, just step out. Um, 
all those kind of movements anyway should be easy enough with the shoulder angels you might get a little pop around there so if you do just shorten the range of motion just go to there and back in if it's a comfortable uncomfortable to go any lower with the dead, dead bugs as you're kicking your legs out you're looking to keep your lower back on the ground but if it's tough on your lower back just don't kick out as far i'll explain that now in a second so going again in 30 seconds we are 15 minutes in so we have yeah about 10 minutes left or just over that okay this time we're going to start with eight dead bugs okay so if you need to make it easier don't go fully out just go to here back in Okay, here we go, going for eight, four off each side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same with the shoulder angles. If it's sore to get to here, just stop here and come back up, so get to there and back up. All right, head on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dead bugs for six. We'll keep this going. One, sorry, two, three, four, five. And six. Stick with it now. Hopefully you've coaxed your parents or other family members into doing it as well. Six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Getting easier now. Less reps. One, two, three. Four. Shoulder angles for four. Stick with it now and start moving a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Two reps of each to finish. One, two. Shoulder angles. One, two. Okay, well done on that. So, take another little break. We'll take a minute there. I'll explain the next bit. Okay, so for the next little piece, you need a chair or a wall to be able to push against. I'll show you why. Okay, so we're going to do one lower body exercise and one upper body exercise and we're going to do it for time this time so i'm going to time it so the first one you're going to do is a push-up hold okay so your normal push-up if you're comfortable doing push-ups do it like this okay so if you're in your push-up position you're going to squeeze your tummy on your backside and just stay there for the amount of time that we're going to work for if that's tough come up Lean on something higher, like a chair or a couch. Okay, if that's tough, then use a wall. Step back a little bit, use a wall, lean into it. You get a better picture here. Lean into it, same thing. Squeeze your tummy, squeeze your backside, and just stay there, okay? So that's your push-up. You can do it any of those three ways. And then we're gonna do a squat, which we've done in the warm-up, which is sitting down into a chair. Okay, so you're going to sit down into your squat and we're going to hold that as well. So we're going to hold it in the bottom position. Okay, so if it's tough to go down low, just come up a little bit higher, stay there. But we want to feel a little burn on the front of the legs, just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do both of those exercises for 5 seconds first, then 10 seconds, then 15, um, and then we move on again, okay? So stick with it now, keep encouraging each other. 
if you're doing it with somebody else. Okay, so push up first in position. Okay, so your shoulders are over your arms, they're not back here, your bum isn't back here, and you're not too far forward. Okay, lean into it and hold it here. I'll be watch going, here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're into your squat. So you can use your hands out in front, ready down for five. So stay here, five, four, three, two, one. Don't forget, back into your push up position. We're going to do it for 10 seconds. So here we go again. Okay, so it gets strong. These are all movements you can do yourself tomorrow or the next day. You're just learning new skills that you can implement. Okay, so here we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Squat again for 10. Here we go, hold that bottom position. Come up a little bit higher if you need to. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stand up. Now, the toughest bit, we're going for 15 seconds of both exercises, and then we're finished with this sequence. Push up position again. Lean in, squeeze the bone, keep the stomach tight. Here we go. 15 seconds. Another 10. Stick with it. Another 5. 3, 2, 1. Squat for 15 seconds. Here we go. We're on. Stay there. Breathe your way through this. Don't hold your breath. Might be a little burn on the thighs. Another 10 seconds. Excellent. Stay there. Stay there. Another five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Another little breather there. Well done. Hopefully you've been able to stick with it so far. If not, just drop out and, and drop back in. Message up in the group there of how you're getting on. Um, hopefully everybody's feeling strong, feeling fit. Um, we get through all this stuff together, but it's good to stay connected, good to keep chatting to your friends, and it's good to have this forum to be able to join in and interact with everybody. Okay, I had another thing planned, but I think we'll go straight into the last piece. Okay, this one, I want your heart rate to go up high on this, okay, but only to whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, we're going to do a boxing, just standing boxing, okay, or shadow boxing. Um, and I want you to push yourself, but not too hard that, you, that you're going to feel sick or you're going to feel dizzy or anything, at, um, or anything like that. Okay, so we're going to do 15 seconds of boxing, take a break for 15 seconds, and then back to boxing for 15 seconds. We're going to do that four times, okay, and then we're done for today anyway. Okay, so what you're going to do, stand with one foot in front of the other, and we're going straight punching okay but it has to be locked out okay so you want to lean in every time and straight arms full extension don't just go here little rabbit punches okay twist your body roll with it as well okay so even though it's an upper body exercise you're using your hips go with it too use your first one just to see how hard you should go for the 15 seconds then you should know and then we go hard at it for the last three okay so first sequence here 15 seconds on, ready, 3, 2, 1, let's go, that's it, turn your body with it, full extensions, breathe, every right hand in front, breathe out, number 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, okay, this is also great for stress relief, Okay, you could think of your worst enemy as you're punching there. Maybe we could all think of our enemy being uh, COVID-19. Okay, so we can punch the life out of COVID-19 for the next three. Okay, here we go, 15 seconds again. Okay, remember, twist your bodies out. Here we go, three, two, one. That's it, every right hand. 
Make sure you breathe. If you're feeling good, go faster. Punch it out. Keep going, keep going. Another five, four, three, two, one. Take a breather again. That's two done, two to go. Hopefully we have COVID-19 battered there. Okay, I'm gonna finish him or her off now for the next two. Okay, a couple of deep breaths. Okay, two more to do. Going again in five, we're working for 15 seconds. Feeling good, go all out. Three, two, one. That's it, every right hand, so breathe out. Just gonna keep your breathing sequence right. That's it, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax again, nearly there, one more to go. Okay, so use this time, big deep breath in. Try and expand, fully empty out. We'll go for two more of those. And again. Okay, boxing 15 seconds, last time. A little bit of stretching after this and then we're done. Stick with it, go flat out on this, this is your last one. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Remember to breathe. Keep going, keep going, heart rate up. Last five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Okay, great stuff, great effort on that. Message up in the group there. How you found that? Found it too easy? You might need to go harder the next time. Found it too hard, you might need to pull back the pace of it the next time, okay? So just let's have a little bit of interaction there. Was it tough, was it easy? Are you gonna do 10 more after this video finishes? Okay, take your, take your drink of water and then we're going into the cool down. For the cool down, to keep it simple, we just do three stretches and then you're done for today. Okay, so get your drink of water. The first thing of the cool down is always try and get your heart rate back down first. How you do that is through your breath. So breathe in. But when you're breathing in, you want to expand here, around the stomach, around the back, around the sides, not just into your chest. So when you take the breath in, it's... Okay, so you should feel your belly pushing out, not just... Okay, because you're not using the full capacity of your lungs there. Okay, so we do three of those. So big breath in, have one hand on your stomach, one hand on your back, and try and breathe into both hands. So. In through the nose, out through the mouth, another big deep breath. Okay, let's stay side on. What you're going to do is bring your feet together. Okay. And then we're just going to round down towards our toes, bring our hand towards our toes. Okay, so inhale and then breathe out. Nice and comfortably wherever you feel comfortable, round down, because you can't go anymore, big deep breath in, and then really, really slowly, come back up, one more, Slowly coming back up. Okay, then we'll do a calf stretch. So you need to push against something here. So I'm using my couch. Step one foot behind, drive your heel into the floor. You can use a wall, it could be up taller. Okay, we'll hold this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, step back, same again. Five, sorry, ten, 
for joining in i'll be looking in the facebook group on monday or tuesday whenever this goes up and um, try and interact there as well let the lads know if you enjoyed that um or if you didn't or it'll be recorded anyway um so if you didn't get a chance to do it you can join in later on um thanks for your time hopefully everybody had a good easter and hopefully everybody enjoyed that okay stay safe listen to the guidelines but stay active thank you